With businesses increasingly gating risk of us, the need for steadfast business leaders is becoming apparent by the day. As accountants have to deal with risks, we have to make values-based judgment all the time. And if you make one wrong turn, the only thing you are selling as a CFO is your integrity. So what then happens? So we are at such a pass. How do we make sure we stay on the straight and narrow? Thank you, sir. So spending a lot of time with people and trying to understand, well, what's driving those trends and seeking out that information and, and then trying to synthesize it and see whether it is all connected and can help uh, shape where we want to go as a business. And I think that that's the role of a, of a CEO. As such, 18 selected chief financial officers drawn from banks, the National Social Security Fund, the Registrations Bureau and the Capital Markets Authority will undergo a mentorship program for the 2018-19 class aimed at enhancing their leadership and decision-making skills. Be open-minded. Be open-minded. You are going to interact with so many CEOs. They are going to tell you their pains, understand those pains and translate them into what you think and what you can to ensure that you are still relevant and helping the CEO to, to succeed. The journey starts with these ones and we are happy it is starting. We are happy we have the relevant people with the relevant experience and the relevant professors who are able to deliver this. So at the end of the day there is a reference point in this country for who an effective and efficient CFO is.